Jakub Krejcik, first of all, welcome to Oulu. Uh, how have your first uh, couple of days here been? Oh, thank you. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, the guy seems very nice. Uh, everyone trying to help. And uh, so I'm uh, so far, I'm happy. Uh, I walked through the city. The city looks perfect. And uh, yeah. How have the first practices on ice been for you? Well, uh, I never. Uh, my last practice was actually the last game of the season, so it's uh, quite a while. But uh, the beginnings are always hard. But yeah, not last, bad. <laughs> last uh, season was your first in uh, Finland. What kind of an experience was that season for you? Uh, well, it was a big experience, uh, different league, right? Uh, it's uh, a little bit more about skating, uh, so uh, first first uh, month was a little bit harder, but uh, then I get used to it, and um, I think uh, I did a great job there, or a good job, I hope. <laughs> uh, and um, obviously, like Finland, it's a nice country, and uh, so easy to live here. What kind of a uh year was it for you if you think about hockey wise how did you develop and how did you play throughout the year well uh, I think uh, I learned a lot there uh, I I seen especially in the national team like uh, especially when you when you when I was go went there from the Czech League it was like a big step but uh, from the Finnish League wasn't that big difference so the obviously the games were a little bit in a higher speed, but uh, still wasn't that big a uh, change. How did the decision to move on and come to Karpat come to you? We were talking about it already, like end of the season, and uh, it wasn't that hard decision. Uh, obviously, Karpat is a huge, huge organization, and uh, you almost like playing finals every year, so so. Uh, it was really, really easy decision for me. How much do you know about the club and the team? Well, uh, not uh, not much about history, right? But uh, obviously, you won the cup a couple of times, as I can see here, uh, and uh, playing the finals last year. And you had a great season. Uh, it was hard to play against you guys, so. How do you how do you remember the game in Rauma in the spring that you guys won eight one? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was pretty nice feeling after a game. We didn't have that much games that we won like uh, really uh, high like that and score eight goals. So and especially against first team in the league. So it was. Uh, it was like uh, really something special, but we knew that it's not going to happen every time. And it, I think the last, the next three games we lost. So if I remember well. You uh, talked with Radek Oblicek uh, before he is arriving in the city. What have you guys talked about? Uh, well, basically about everything, like how, how the things work here and how is the city coaches, guys, so he told me basically everything and uh, I, I can't say that was something bad, like he's like pretty happy here, like he's almost six years or seven years here, so yeah, he's, he tells all the good things. You've uh, played four world championships and had a long career here in Europe, uh, what do you see in your future? Well, I want to uh, learn something new here again. Like uh, the life is like always about learning something new. So I hope I'm gonna grow, grow up as a player here more. And um, we will see. I I don't, I don't want to talk about the future. I'm, I just want to focus on that this year and what's gonna happen and be successful here uh, with the team.